So, this is what a cop's salary gets you, huh? A two-story in Astoria. It's not bad. Nicer than some of the foster homes I grew up in. Anyway, shall we? Yeah, yeah, we both know the drill by now. There's a snowman here. Frozen solid. There's not much I can do with it. I don't think there is anything outside that I need, so let's... Open the door. Locked. As usual. There's a letter in here. It was wet and stuck to the side of the mailbox, but I got it. Okay, let's check out this envelope. This letter is soaking wet. It's practically falling apart in my hands. The wired something. Can I look this up? No. Okay, Joey, it's up to you. Hello? Anything? Seems quiet so far. Let me look around. There's a key. Can I get it to Rosa? I'm not just gonna blow on everything I see. Fine. Kids' room. Seems to be in good shape. It's a piano, a ball, dollhouse, drawing. Looks to be some drawing of a little girl. I can't see inside, but it looks like a Valentine's Day card. I couldn't use it even if I wanted to. Hello? Yeah? Is anybody there? Who are you? Mister? Are you looking for my mom? Uh, I... Yes. Is she around? Uh-huh. I have to practice. Sorry. Damn it. We didn't find Lisa Piero, but we found her daughter. And she's dead. Couple of pictures here. KK the troll. Okay, can only see this one. Can I go in here? Or is it too far? We can go in here. Fuse box, a shelf. I can't touch it. Besides, there's nothing on it. Poster. A poster for some old junk car. A painting of some miserable old dame in a crinoline. A Christmas tree. Plastic, naturally. Nothing in here for Joey to do. Just a bedroom, pretty sparsely furnished. Nothing useful in here. Nothing else. Excuse me. Oh, hi. I'm practicing. I can see that. You're pretty good. Thanks. I'll only be a minute, then you can get back to it. Well, okay. My name's Joey. What's yours? Are you sure you should be here? Sure. I'm Kendra Haskins. Okay, Kendra Haskins. Are you here all alone? No. Mom's here. Are you sure? I can't find her. I'm pretty sure. I'd know if she was gone. What about your dad? Is he around? No, he's late. Late? Late for what? Picking me up. On Fridays we go to the Abacus, and then I live with him until Monday. But he's late. The Abacus. You said you go to the Abacus. It's his work. Your dad takes you to work? Mm-hmm. He's the boss. Your dad's the boss, huh? He must be a very important man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Kendra, I need you to tell me the last thing you remember. Why? Just humor me. Um, I was coming home from school and... I came here. That's it. Are you sure? Yes. I've been waiting for my dad. 
Okay, I don't think we need any extra information from her, so let's go. Okay, Kendra, I gotta go, but I'll be around to check on you, okay? Check on me? Why? Is something wrong? No, no, I just... well, you're not alone here. You might not know what that means yet, but you're not. Okay... I'm gonna practice now. Sure. Okay, back to Rosa. Joey, you alright? Yeah, sure, whatever. We got a spook. Is it Leah Piero? No, it's her daughter, a little girl. I see. How old? Ten, maybe eleven. And she's okay? You mean, besides being dead? Yeah, she's playing the piano. Well. Yeah, well. Okay, let's check out this envelope. The Wired Ab. So we got the name Abacus, so let's check the wired. Uh, maybe I think I need to... Oh no, I I don't. I thought I'd have uh, the wired glue to combine first, but the wired Abacus. The wired Abacus, the first choice in consumer electronics, has finally come to New York. Come visit us at 1 Union Square South blah 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 doesn't matter we got the address let's go so kendra's dad is the boss of this place this is just a bunch of junk hi there hi can i help you I'm looking for the manager. Emil Haskins, I think his name is. Mr. Haskins? He's not in. Taking time off for personal stuff, I think. I'm not sure when he'll be back. Emil Thanks. Haskins. Sure. We don't have an address. Let's send Joey into his office because he can't get inside. There's a key, there's a it note. Says, Call Joe. I have no idea who that could be. Looks like an internal memo, some kind of technical stuff. It's all Greek to me. It's a phone or some variation thereof. A bunch of meetings and appointments are written down on this thing. Nothing really stands out, but the weekends are all labeled Kendra. A bunch of discarded papers. So where would I find... His address, perhaps. A bunch of meetings and a... The tag has Leah Piero's address on it. Best guess, it's the key to her house. Okay, the key to Leah Piero's house. I don't know much about these moose things, but I've seen Red use them often enough. Oh, let's uh, blow on the mouse. Huh, Move it a little whatever bit. I did, it worked. Exeter House. Okay, we have a location. Let's go speak with Emil Haskins. Here he is, Emil Haskins. Hello? Hi, is this Emil? Yes, that's me. Who is this? My name is Rosangela Blackwell. Could I come in? I'd like to ask you some questions. You mean there's been progress? I'm... I'm not sure. I'm just trying to learn what happened. You're not with the police? No, they won't talk to me. I'm hoping you will. They won't talk to me either. Come on up. Rosangela Blackwell, was it? Yes, that's me. Come on in. I should have guessed you weren't with the police. I've spoken to enough cops lately to know the difference. So, you said you're trying to learn what happened? What exactly do you know? 
I know that something happened to Leah. Is that all you know? Yeah, I'm afraid so. She's been missing for weeks, that's what happened. Big shot police detective, poof, gone. Then, our daughter. So yeah, something happened. And nobody seems to be able to find out what. George Austin was killed last night. What? George is dead? You didn't know? No, of course not. You think the police tell the ex-husband anything? Ex-wife and daughter go missing. I'm suspect number one. How did it happen? He was shot. Shot? Jesus. I can't say I liked the guy. Leah dumped me for him after all, but Jesus. I always figured he was into something shady, but I thought it was more white collar. Insider trading or whatever. But someone shooting him? That's like mob stuff. Is that what's going on? Was he in the mob? I don't know. Jesus, Leah, some police detective you are hooking up with a mobster. I don't know if that's what happened. I hope not. If it did, I'll never forgive her. You work at the Wired Abacus? Yeah, real glamorous, right? I wouldn't know. It's a job, is all I can say. I'm able to afford the rent on this shoebox apartment, at least. How well did you know George Austin? Leah's the one who knew him. They've been friends for years. She talked about him sometimes. What did she say? Well, that's the thing. I got the impression he was kind of a loser. A loser? No career, living with his parents, that kind of thing. She felt bad for him. But then we get divorced and he turns up wearing designer suits and living in a penthouse. And I'm living in this shoebox. Are you familiar with Grace Church? Me? No. But Leah used to go there before we were married. She was really hung up on the place. What did you do when Leah disappeared? Got grilled by the cops for three days, even though there was no way I could have done it. I was at work, and I don't know if you've been to that store, but it's got cameras everywhere. But I just stood by and took the abuse, just on the off chance I would say something that could help them. Obviously, I didn't. How did you find out Kendra was missing? Her school called. The same day her mother didn't show up for work. They thought she was with me. I wish she was. Can you tell me anything about yourself? Is it relevant? Well, it could be. Hmm. Well, I'm a tech nerd. Worked for a bunch of startups back in the late 90s. Now I work at a chain store. Moved into this place about five years ago. Rented it from some Indian lady. Rent in this city is highway robbery, but there's no way I'm moving further away from my little girl. Well, I'll see you later, Emil. Yeah. Sure. See ya. Hey! Wait, why are you doing this? You said you weren't with the police, so why? I have my reasons. I just can't tell you what they are. Yeah, I get that impression. But whatever your reasons, you can help Kendra, right? Yes, it's what I do. Poor guy. He's grieving, and he doesn't even know it yet. <sighs> It never gets easier. Okay, we need more information. Let's send Joey in. Some kind of oil painting, I think. I can't tell what it's supposed to be. A phone, I think. It's hard to tell these days. Lots of books on accounting and business management. Oh, and a couple of comic books. Okay, there's a picture. There are some numbers. 10, 29. That's definitely the little girl I saw. I guess that hat belongs to her mother. Leah's a cop, all right. She must have still been a beat cop when this was taken. It's Emil. He looks leagues different than the sad sack we've been talking to. All right, 10, 29. I'm saying this because we need a code to enter Emil's office at the Wired Abacus. Hi again. Mm hmm. Is there a way I can get into the manager's office? Um. Did he give you permission to go in there? Yes. Yes, he did. 
Oh, then he should have given you the code. Code? Yeah, for the keypad next to the door. Thanks. Sure. Okay, let's do this. Locked, of course. 10, 29. Emil's calendar is full of various... Okay, I've seen that. Check out the computer. According to the label, this should get me into Leah Piero's house. I don't need to use Emil's phone. I've got my own. Huh, another my phone upgrade is coming out in six months. Didn't one just come out last week? It says, call Joe. Okay, let's check his email. Okay, Leah might be just a police officer, but she has a secure and stable income, you do not. Your promotion to manager of the new abacus is a good first step. Keep at it for a few more years, then we can talk about getting more custody. Okay, so a lawyer. One email from Leah, about something called Trollgate. You sure about this online game, Trollgate or whatever it's called? Do I have to tell you about all the creeps that hang out online? She's determined to play the theme on the piano, so at least there's that. Perhaps it's harmless. You know more about this stuff than me. Just make sure she doesn't do anything stupid, okay? Abacus Admin. Parental Eye. Emil, got a new shipment of the Parental Eye software coming your way. Could you try to upsell it? Maybe to overly paranoid NYU parents? The boss is desperate to get rid of the stuff. Mark it down to whatever you want. Meal, I got a copy of that Parental Eye software you recommended. I installed it on Kendra's computer. And now my computer and yours can read her email. You just need to install it on your office computer and you're in business. Sigh, maybe you're right. This is a huge breach of trust and she'd kill me if she found out. She's a smart kid, I'm sure she can handle cyberspace. In this respect, she's more your daughter than mine. Install it if you want to, but I'm out. Uh, this doesn't matter. Another from Leah. Help. Huge favor to ask. Can you pick Kendra up a bit early tonight? George and I have theater tickets and the show starts earlier than we thought. Fine, we'll drop her off at Yabakus. It's only heavy midtown traffic and 40 blocks out of our way. Uh, Emil said, we're swamped here today. I'm not sure I can get away early. Can you drop her off here? Okay. From Kendra, I got it. I got it, I can play the tune from Trollgate, no sheet music or anything, I'll play it for you this weekend. An email from Durkin, where are they? I understand the frustration, Mr. Haskins, but I have to ask you to stop phoning our office. We're just as concerned with finding Officer Piero and Kendra as you are. This is our job. As soon as you know anything, you'll be the first to know. And from George Austin, where's Kendra? I know we don't see eye to eye, but what kind of monster do you take me for? I had nothing to do with whatever whatever happened to Leah, and I would never harm that little girl. I, I will assume it's fear and frustration, possibly alcohol talking, and leave it at that. Okay, so we got some information from this. And we can read... Um, Kendra's email using the parental thingy. Hi again. Mm hmm. Do you have any copies of the Parental Eye software? Parental Eye? Yeah, we got plenty of those left. They didn't sell very well. I guess people don't like to spy on their children, but me, I don't judge. Anyway, we got a bunch behind the counter. That'll be $14.99. Do you take debit cards? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. Thanks. Sure. Okay. Let's go back inside. And install this thing. Hmm, seems like a pretty standard installation. Give me a second. All right, it's ready to go. Welcome to Parental Eye. Zero. It doesn't look like Kendra has any emails on her computer, but if she gets any, I suppose I can use this piece of software to read them. 
Okay. Nothing we can do here yet. Let's go back to the Piero's house, since we now have a key 